Good morning again from the UFC Apex. I'm ready to go host the weigh-ins for UFC Vegas 64. And I thought, I'm not taking advantage of all the fighters that I get to talk to in one place. So I thought, let's come up with a question of the day and see what they think. Today's question, what's the first UFC fight they remember watching? Well, it was the ultimate fighter for sure. It was Forrest Griffin and Stephen Bonner. Griffin and Bonner. Yeah. What do you remember about that when you think back to it? Or watching Man, it? Man, that's hard. I don't remember much these days. I get hit in the head so much. Shoot, I think I was still, what was that 2003? Yeah, something 2003. like that. 2003? I was still in middle school. I just was like, man, uh, Maybe one day I can be able to do this. The first UFC fight I remember watching was actually I just got out of jail and uh, it was Rampage versus Forrest Griffin. I remember my cousin was like, yo, uh, there's this dude named Rampage about a fight coming to my house. I'm like, Rampage, who the hell is that, bro? That sounds fucking dope. And at the time I was just a boxing fan, so I get there, I see him throwing kicks, elbows, punches. I'm like, yo, what the hell is this? So uh, I became instantly a fan, and I started training, and here I am. That's wild, man. Yeah. Right after you got out of jail. Yeah, right. After I had got out, been in jail for like eight months. Got out of jail, and uh, my cousin was like, "Yo, come check out Rampage, bro. It's fucking dope." Who the fuck is that guy, bro? So it sounded dope. Glad I went, cause now I'm fighting. I think it's GSP Matt Hughes one. Yeah. So it's a long what do you remember about it? I remember the athlete GSP was, and he ended up being my favorite fighter. And, I tried to mold my game after that. I think I was like 15 years old, so it's been a long time. But you want, and you wanted to get into it right after that? Yeah, I did. I wanted to be just like GSP. <laughs> Here you go, man. You're in the UFC now. Yeah, man. Getting closer every day. What is it? Pride? Bob Sapp against Minotauro. What is it? Bob Sapp against Minotauro. Bob Sapp against Minotauro. Maybe the first fight, family fight. Ronda Rousey. Oh. Again, against, uh, First again. female fight. Yeah. Ronda Rousey, Liz Carmouche. Yeah, exactly. You watched that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She did the history. Yeah. yeah. Made history. Put, put, made history and uh, put uh, in the UFC. The fem the Females, yeah. Fight. Yeah, it was the very first ones. I mean, I was that same story about, about the guys that would go to Blockbuster. You kids know what Blockbuster is? Probably not, huh? <laughs> not many. Not, not many. You go to Blockbuster, you look on that bottom row, and you'd see the, the, the VHSs or whatever. You see the tapes, and uh, you go, you rent that. Man, I would watch all of them. You know, the beginning ones, the Horse Gracie and, and Ken Shamrock and all that. So that's kind of what got me started. And then from there, it just evolved, and you know, look where we are now. It was definitely a Matt Hughes fight. I can't remember who he was fighting, but it was 100% Matt Hughes fight for sure. Matt Hughes. <laughs> yeah. And was that like the one that made you want to train? 100%. I mean, I eventually ended up training with Matt Hughes, but that was definitely when it got me started with the UFC. What do you think it was? Oh man, I can't remember exactly which fight it was, but I remember like really like falling over with it back then. And like, even when I was like 19 or so and I was like deployed, I remember like staying up to like two, three in the morning, be able to watch his fights uh, overseas. So like, that was definitely like my first intro to uh, MMA and mixed martial arts in general. It's almost surreal to like realize that. I mean, even like a couple of fights ago, I was like, oh, wow, you're, you're, you're tired of Matt Hughes for most wins in Wall Street Division. Now it's like, you're tired of GSP. And now it's like, you're literally a fight away from holding that record yourself. It was just like, holy crap, life came at me fast. <laughs> Randy Couture versus Josh Barnett. Okay. I believe it was that one. The real fight that I thought, oh my fuck, I want to do that shit with. I think watching Rampage versus Sakuraba. I Rampage lost that fight, but I was like, man, this dude just throwing him around, slamming yeah. him, and then Sakuraba had a lot of heart, and then finally finished him. Uh, but I was like, man, but I've, those were like my two favorite fighters right off the bat. Like Sakuraba just for his legacy and Rampage just being strong. So I didn't that fight right there in Pride Fighting. And then from there, I just really loved the sport. And I remember as a kid too, I always wanted to be like Rampage. I bought camouflage shorts, was picking kids up with double legs. It was always something I would like to do. I was like, I'm like Rampage.